Well, hey folks, I'm Aaron. Welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. We're gonna have some fun today as we take a look at the Helicon Tex Urban Courier Medium Size Messenger Bag. And what sets this bag apart is that it comes in at just under $70, but you still get Cordura fabric, YKK zippers, and a well thought out footprint. So I hope you guys will join me today as we have some fun and break down this bag and see if it might be the messenger bag that you're looking for when you don't want to break the bank, but you still want good layout and durability. All right, folks, so we'll jump right into the bag. I'm going to give you some basic specs here real quick before we start taking it all apart. Uh, as I said earlier, Cordura fabric, which is awesome. Always good to see that. Uh, the plastics are WJ or Wujin plastics. I don't know they're bragging about it. I, mean, I, haven't, I think I've probably seen it on some other ones. Um, so I would say from the density that I'm seeing, very similar to like Duraflex type of clips. And so that's all the polymers and all the plastics on there. Uh, again, YKK zippers. Um, <clears throat> now, this is what's important. Now, I don't know what late, like what um, denier of Cordura it is. It doesn't say. I would say based off of the materials, it's 500 or less, 500 denier or less on the fabric, which I'm fine with because this comes in at 1.68 pounds, which is about a pound lighter than almost any other equally sized or even slightly smaller messenger bag on the market. If you look at 511 and their Mike series, um, that one's gonna weigh 2.6 pounds. If you look at VanQuest and uh, their Envoy series, that's gonna be about 2.6 pounds for the Envoy 13. Um, you look around, it's usually about 2.6. So this is a lighter bag. Um, and it does, it's not quite as rigid and structured as, say, a lot of those other brands I just listed, even the Maxpedition, you know, those kind of type of companies. So it has a little bit more flex, a little bit more contouring to your body, which I actually prefer. I prefer that on my person than it being like this rigid board that kind of bounces around and isn't uh, and is super structured. So I like that. Some of you may or may not connect with that. This is 9.5 liters in overall size. So it's actually hitting a really nice sweet spot as well compared to what else is on the market. Most companies, they come in like right around six to seven liters or they jump up into like almost 17 liters depending on the size of the bag. F very few uh, courier messenger style bags like this that, I, that I've researched, that I looked at, have a 9.5 liter each. So it's a good kind of medium size. Now they do have a large size as well. I don't remember and I'll try and annotate it in if I can off the top of my head what that um, leaderage is but that 9.5 really works well for what i regularly carry okay so we'll talk about the shoulder strap and stabilizer strap right out of the gate this one's kind of different and unique compared to what else is on the market most of them will have like a big strap and then a little pad that's a kind of adjustable where you want it to be this has kind of taken a different approach and basically padded out the entire strap here you can see there from beginning to end it's this big giant pad that's contoured that regardless if you put it over your right or left shoulder it contours in the same direction direction over your neck it feels really good it doesn't cut into your neck which is an important thing when you're thinking of messenger bags it does have these extra little loops here so you can lash different little pouches and gear items it's just different i haven't seen anything like that it's not a positive or a negative in the sense of how it carries the load it actually carries the load really well for what i have loaded out in here which is quite a bit what you're about to see and so what I enjoy about this is that I don't have to do any adjusting with that pad. The only downside really that I noticed was that though this is kind of a grippy nylon, which is good, so it, it doesn't slide off your shoulder uh, like slick off of slick uh, like raincoats and those type of things as much as some other nylons that are out there, it will still do that. It doesn't have any kind of like tactile grippiness. Now you can easily fix that with one of the uh, little tricks that I showed you in one of the other videos we did a while ago, where you could either use ranger bands and because you can easily disconnect the entire shoulder strap on either side there, which is good. So you could dump it in a pinch if you needed to. You could just slide one or two Ranger bands on there that would help grip your clothing a little bit better. Or you could even use like a, an old um, mountain bike tire, you know, or something like that. Just give a little extra grip. That's the only drawback. And you will see certain little aspects like that because of the price difference compared to what else is on the market um, that you may notice. You'll also have a double folded grab handle right here. So if you just need to carry it from the vehicle to your home, and then you do have a quad directional stabilizer that can go from top to bottom or bottom to top or the two top or the two bottom. And that's a really good feature for those of you who like to really get that 
messenger bag up kind of on your back or you're a cyclist, you know, somebody like that, that you like satchels and messenger bags, but you want it to be kind of up on your person. I was able to uh, go for a little jog, just kind of jog around the parking lot, just kind of get a good feel for it and see just how well the stabilizers work along with cinching down the shoulder strap when it's not completely opened out so that it can fit on my larger body. I'm 6'2 and it fits great. Um, with the shoulder strap, but that stabilizer, you can really like get it snug on your person, which is a really cool added bonus for you cyclists or people that would really like to get it up on your back. Now, I normally do not use the stabilizer strap when I'm just going around town. I just stuff it away in the pocket, but if I needed it, it's there. So guys, we will hit a brief timeout just to talk about price with you again. As I said earlier in the video, uh, I got this for under uh, $70. Now the normal going rate over on Amazon uh, is usually about $67 is what I found for the medium and then about $77 for the large uh, and lots of different color combinations and stuff. I actually, and when I'm making this video is still going on, I, I picked this up for $56 over on the Helicon uh, Tech's website. Now this is a Polish company from what I understand, but they do have US based shipping and stuff like that. Um, so it's good to go check over there as well. I'll have links for you guys for, uh, for both. If you're seeing and what you see here is connecting with you. That's what I always do in these videos. Show you guys pros and cons so that you can make the wise choice. Is this what I'm looking for? Or, mm, you know, the lack of organization is something that's a little concerning to me. Some of the features they didn't really invest in to lower the price are things that I absolutely have to have in my gear. You know, stuff like that so that you guys can make a wise choice. But for that $70 price point compared to 511 Maxpedition VanQuest, well, all those other companies, they all start at about $100 and go up from there for that kind of like EDC, low profile, but still, you know, tactically thought out or, you know, um, preparedness messenger bag that isn't just, you know, like a Timbuktu, you know, style messenger bag. Um, that this with the, you know, YKK and the Kodura and the, you know, Vel Velcro everywhere for, you know, in inside for firearms and those type of things. Um, it's I don't know of another messenger bag in this size range that comes close in price point to the materials that they decide to go with. So that's a, a big selling point to me and probably to a lot of you as well. So since we're here at the back, we'll go ahead and take a look. You have one zipper pull. It would have been nice to have Ambi zipper pulls here uh, for those lefties. But this is your concealed carry compartment. That opens up really nice and smooth and you have a whole Velcro panel wall back here that you can mount full-size pistols, pistol magazines, or you can just keep other, you know, essentials that you don't want, um, you know, e more easily accessible, uh, important documents, you know, this is up against your body. So there's not a lot of structure on this. You can really kind of feel what's there. Uh, and then this is where there's kind of a polymer dense uh, structure pad in here. So for some of you, if it's a really heavy firearm, you may kind of feel it, or if it's kind of got some sharp angles, you might feel it kind of coming through there. It probably would have been better to have this a little bit more of the, the rigid and have this portion maybe not quite as rigid. So that's just a data point for those of you looking for, um, particularly putting your firearms in a bag. I don't do that. I carry it on, on body. But um, for those of you who do like to do that, that's just some data for you. Okay, so as we move to the front here, you can see you got a big morale patch Velcro wall. I really like that. I can throw some different morale patches on there. Now, the cool thing is there's, I think, like six or seven different color combinations. You can get all black, all gray, gray and black. You can get olive green, tan, you know, so there's lots of options out there to kind of color combinate and, you know, mix up however you would like. Now, on the front here, we just have one big pocket and that opens up and it's just a big dump pocket, but it goes all the way down in here and then it goes all the way up to the top, kind of in a shelf format. So you can actually get a lot of gear in there. And it's nice because if there's stuff that's kind of going high, you can get push your things down into the front. If there's things that are kind of maxing out the width of the bag, well then you can put it kind of on the top and then it saves on some of the space. So that's really nice to see right there. Now on either side of the bag, you do have pockets that will be able to handle your average size uh, 32 ounce now jeans. So that's a really good positive. I really like that has a nice elastic band to kind of keep it snug. Uh, it doesn't have any sort of shock cord to keep it in place. You could obviously, if you were a little concerned, maybe you're biking or something like that, you could run your shoulder strap right there through the loop, clip it into place, just kind of rotate it around. You get the idea, clip it into place. And that'll kind of give it a little extra lashing point for security. Um, the one downside that I see with the design is that because it's really nice and tight when you close it up, 
so it kind of keeps it out of the way. You got to kind of fight with it. It wouldn't have been quite as difficult to get into place, particularly if it hasn't had anything in it for a while overnight. You know, you took your water bottle out when you got home or it's been at the office on the desk all day. It's just a little bit of a tedious thing. Not a deal killer, but that would have been a little nice feature is just a little pull tab to pull that elastic band open. That would be easier to get your 32 ounce Nalgene's inside the pocket. And again, those are ambidextrous on either side. Now, as we go to open the bag, again, those really nice uh, clips. And there's, they definitely got some extra space right there. So if there was something kind of high in the bag, let's open those up. Got some Velcro right there on those little wings. And there's a lot on either side right there. Now, one of the things that you'll notice, nothing on the flap. And this is kind of a, I don't know what type of nylon. I don't know if that's Cordura as well. So I haven't tested like heavy duty rain. I'm sure it'll do a little bit of repellent, but you might want to extra coat it, you know, if you're concerned about rain in that regard. So you have one pocket right here, double run a zipper, and it has a little paracord loop right there. And then it's just a Velcro wall. Uh, I added this, I actually cannibalized this from my Helicon Bandicoot um, fanny pack and threw this organizer on there and it's added absolutely everything I need. Hand sanitizer, wipes, deodorant, pens, pencils, you know, Sharpie, all that type of stuff is in there. So you just organize it that way. And then it, I also have like my earbuds in there and a couple other small knickknacks inside that front pouch. Now that's one of the cost cutting, if you will, features. And that's how they're able to get it down to that size is that there's no pen holders, pen pockets, um, you know, uh, little sleeves for that type of stuff in the bag. It's only Velcro walls and big pockets. That's all you're going to get. It would have been nice for this to come just with one simple like little row of Velcro with like a couple elastic bands for some pens and a few other things. That would have been nice. And then you could put it where you want. Uh, it's not a deal breaker. And again, that's why you're paying the, the lower price point. So you will either need to purchase that and lots of companies, including Helicon, uh, he, uh, or Helicon, excuse me, but also, you know, VanQuest, 511, Maxpedition. I mean, they all got little, you know, pen organizer things you can Velcro to Velcro walls and those type of things. But that's the outside pocket there. Okay, then as we flip this open, you do have a mesh pocket right here with one zipper pull that can hold a lot of stuff. You know, I got notepads, Bible, all kinds of different things in there. It's very large. You could put like your power cables for a laptop, something like that in there and then you just have a main big dump pocket i have a my edc pouch that we did recently video on that uh i did I have my little power dock set up now the other cool feature inside here is that it does have two interior pouches that can hold a 32 ounce nalgene and it doesn't go over the lip of the bag which is good uh, or you can put like a little medical pouch in there and then you have that big wall of velcro again that you could add organize however you would like and then you've got your strap there to kind of keep your tablet in place and then a padded tablet pocket there or computer pocket now again this is the medium size they do have a full size as well i'm annotating in what the laptop sizes are i think this is a macbook mini i think i can't remember off the top of my head um, but i'll be annotating it in do my best well folks there you have it i hope that this video has been entertaining enjoyable but giving you the data that you need to make a wise choice is this the right bag for you maybe it's not maybe it doesn't have quite the layout that you need you don't want to buy any extra little velcro add-ons to organize things you want it there and done or maybe it's the perfect size layout and hits the right budget so that you're not having to go well over a hundred dollars to start getting into um similar you know durability and materials but slightly better layout that you don't have to add on to. That'll be your guys' decision, but I wanted to break down this entire bag for you, and I'm really digging it. I'm really enjoying what I see here, and a, Hel a Helicon Tex, I believe that's how you pronounce it, I think is doing a great job with this item, with another item I'm working on right now, and their um, Bandicoot uh, fanny pack that I've had before. I'm really seeing good thought, layout, materials at great prices. So uh, if you like what you see here, I don't think you'll be disappointed in what its capabilities are. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Check out the other video popping up right now. Ch uh, subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. We're throwing up video and content like this every single week. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.